Okay, so maybe we do one more halacha, maybe two. Let's see. At least number seven. <clears throat> so a person should not ask a question while standing, nor should a person respond while standing. One should not ask uh, him from a high place, or from far away, or from beyond uh, beyond the be, of, or from behind the elders. The question should be asked um, of a teacher regarding only the subject which they are reading. A question should be asked only with the attitude of awe. A person should ask uh, concerning only concerning only three halachas while standing uh, while, uh, while studying the same subject. Okay, so let's try to understand many details. So from the beginning. A person should not ask a question while standing. 57. The laws mentioned this halacha, uh, as well in those uh, previous and subsequent. Halachas derived from uh, Tosefta, Sanhedrin, uh, chapter 7. Nevertheless, Rambam does not quote this laws um, in the same order in Tosefta. Okay, no problem. So, so he has a source, but... Uh, order in different uh, quote in different order. No problem. One more time. A person should not ask question while standing, nor should a person respond while standing. Why is that? Fifty eight. A person is more composed when seated. Right. As stated, brachas twenty seven b. It was of course brachas thirty six a. Mentioned instances when the questions were asked while standing. But. Uh, just one second. So um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if alone. I did not learn this class, but uh, until some time, I think uh, until destruction of the temple, everybody was. I think we have learned it before, right? Everybody was standing, a uh, student and, and a teacher, right? But uh, but then after after the destruction, so everybody was sitting because it was easier for people to sit. Okay, so one more time. A person is why why, why would the explanation she just remark? So Mo, Moshe was standing when when receiving uh, the Torah from from Hashem, uh, as it says, uh, uh, Hashem said, "Stand here with me." So Mo, Moshe stood on the Mount Sinai. That's uh, was one of the explanation why why they were standing. But me personally, I I have a me person I have better concentration while standing than sitting. It's me personally. Okay. But other people, uh, for other people, it's better to sit. So continue. The base, uh, base Hamelach explained that the matters which do not require intense thought may be asked while standing. So, okay. So if it's like not, not very complicated things, okay, while well, he, he's standing. But the matters which require concent uh, concentration uh, should be discussed uh, with both questionnaire and the teacher are seated. So maybe it's it's not a yes or no question, answer. He, the, the teacher mu must explain uh, uh, like a deeper, much deeper concept, right? So, so sometimes people ask the question, but the question, uh, they, they think it's a simple question. I have the student, so he said, let, uh, he always start, let, let me ask you a simple question. And this question, I mean, uh, I think I think he's sincere, I think, right? It's very sincere, but this question is, is never simple. Whatever he asks, he asks uh, very like it sounds simple, but it's very deep questions, right? So in, in this case, so they say if it's deep question and it's very long explanations and not not such an easy thing to explain, so both of them should be seated. But Dacha Melech explained that Rambam does not intend to imply that the student should should not stand, right? On the contrary, were he to stand. Uh, that would be a sign of respect. Rather, he means um, that the uh, question should not be addressed to a teacher while the latter is standing. Okay, so while the teacher is standing, I mean, uh, but if he teaches standing, there is no problem, basically. Right, but okay. But of, of course, for a student, so if he wants to ask the question, he should uh, rise and ask the question. No problem. So continue. One should not ask uh, from a high place from away from uh, behind, from far away, from behind the elders. So it's very interesting, uh, right? Uh, from a high place, so it's it's like he's uh, he's higher 
to the, then uh, the, the the person that he is asking. So any or he would uh, shout to him like from a far away. That's uh, uh, that's a sign sign of disrespect. So if you want to ask somebody, so come closer. I can uh, talk in a normal uh, tone of voice from uh, the same level. So okay. So continue. He should not ask from a high place, from far away, from behind the elders. So what is the, uh, as a sign of, uh, it is not a sign of respect for the teacher. So behind the elders, like he, like uh, he would turn his head and he's behind some other rabbis. Like, it's definitely not respectful. So respectful, one more time. You want to send text message, you want to uh, speak personally, come closer. Like, uh, and uh, that's very respectful. Be on the same level, standing, sitting, whatever is it. Continue. A question should be asked uh, of, a teacher, of the teacher regarding only a subject that they are reading. Number 60. Uh, so one, one, one of the explanation is uh, maybe teacher is not, uh, is not an expert in any other subject, right? Even like... Let's say he prepared only this class, but or this class and next class, but not, not beyond that. Say so he does not know. So he does not all know what's going on. So and that, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, um, the case of Mishnah notes the apparent redundancy between this statement and the similar one uh, in the previous halacha, and explained that in the previous halacha the Rambam meant that when studying the law of, of Shabbos. A student should not ask his teacher about the laws of the festivals. Uh, even though they, they, were, they, were, they were close, but there, there is still difference, right? Uh, in this halacha, Rambam teaches that even with the regard to the subject of Shabbos laws, while studying the laws of one malacha, uh, um, forbidden act, a student should not in inquire regarding another. Right, so in... In a, in a halacha, which one? In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a previous one, he said, "Don't change the subject completely." So subject, maybe I would, I would say, better example: Shabbos laws and kashrus. Like, okay, two two separate things. And here they say, like, uh, like it's a general. It's under the same uh, topic, but a little different. So one milacha and another milacha. So we we're talking about. Uh, uh, washing the dishes and he's asking about sowing uh, um, uh, water in the what is it uh, the flowers what is the connection those are two uh, separate milachas okay many um, just one second uh, okay so many mas manuscript different I'm, I'm gonna skip that uh, according to this text, uh, there is no redundancy. Rather, in this halacha teaches that the student question should be direct without mentioning any extraneous matter. Okay, so try to, uh, when you ask the question, sometimes, sometimes, and uh, that's what I, um, sometimes people ask me question, and I give give them an answer. So, uh, and uh, and uh, I, I get replied saying, Thank you very much for your answer, but what if this and this? I say, but you did not say these conditions. I say, but if you this and this, opposite is true. Whatever I said, not true, not correct, opposite is true. He said, okay, but what if this and this and this and this? Okay, so if this, this and this and that, so meaning that the first, the first answer is the correct one. So like uh, sometimes you need that to give all of the details and sometimes these details are uh, like extraneous, like, like uh, useless, right? Um, so a, a person must know or uh, or uh, like uh, at least ask what what other details, like uh, like at least offer like summary of other details, so so the rabbi would uh, would ask uh, additional questions. Continue. A question should be asked only with the attitude of awe. So what does it mean? Just as Jews receive Torah on Mount Sinai with the fear and awe, similarly our study of the Torah must be uh, charged with similar emotions. Rachas 22. So when, uh, when they, there is a lecture and people are laughing, like everything is funny, he's so smart, he's so, I mean, uh, 
Well, yeah, so that's uh, that's not learning of the Torah. That's a uh, uh, comedy club or something, right? So the Torah was given if the Mount Sinai is all fear and no, that's uh, that's what should be our attitude. And when when you are in this state of mind of fear of and also the, you have like uh, you have better concentration. So you concentrate only on this. Why? Because it's very very important. Right, so the Torah must be charged with similar emotions. It's from uh, sources uh, Brachas 22a. Continue. A person should ask concerning only three halachas, so only three halachas, while standing, uh, uh, while, uh, while, while studying the same subject. What does it mean? Commentary. For it would be difficult for him to grasp more than three new concepts at the time. Also, it is not. Um, uh, courteous uh, to other students for no uh, for one person to be asking continuously so okay so I mean if no, nobody else is asking and he has questions of course yes so let uh, uh, ask up to three questions let somebody else ask but uh, as, as we learned before today so if uh, he has all of these doubts all of the question and other people are quiet yeah you can ask as many questions as you want there is no problem mm -hmm.